dread should we go with dread 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 2012 everyone needs a friend like sam 100 percent 100 percent padre i can't say anything bad about the austin powers trilogy it's true <laughs> i haven't seen all of them i just saw the first one <laughs> amount of culture i see amount of culture hilarious indeed everyone needs a friend like sam yeah who talks for us saying indeed judgment time the phenomenal interpretation adaptation of the dread com like folklore like really fantastic beautiful movie beautiful movie beautiful movie lee graham salutations on sensor tube hope you're doing well Matt, you didn't like it ali i thought it was a great remake it it was better than the sylvester stallone one the sylvester stallone one wasn't bad i liked it i liked it because i like dread so it was fun but this one was true to character fantastic dark nasty unforgiving like boom right this lonely piggy this remake uh dread was fucking wild yeah yeah miss balloon hands love sam sam love sam love everybody <laughs> emil jansen 10 out of 10 for sure 10 out of 10 for me judge dread 10 out of 10 and i didn't watch it in 3d i don't know why i got the 3d poster there i watched it straight up uh, little mushrooms might have been involved but i can't remember <laughs> control is that uh, ot capitalizing on this film uh, to, by making us more in is baffling i i love this one i loved it as well i loved it as well i loved it as well dread dread through his actions shows his character and commitment to the law without speaking much yeah yeah and the way he treated his uh what do you call it uh not apprentice but uh rookie the rookie right phenomenal and dread stuck to the law right stuck to the law right so he wasn't a uh, corrupted cop like you don't get the sense of dread having a smidgen of corruption in him right trainee with voodoo power trainee with voodoo powers a mutant right a mutant right i saw dread strife i saw dread in the theaters and it was awesome even if it's basically a sci-fi version of the raid which is also awesome yeah yeah but i'm pretty sure dread came way before way before right uh, Emerson, mm. the addition of that weird slow mo drug had me questioning it a time, but looking back, I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, really loved it. Really loved it. Uh, controllers, then a year before this film, I saw the raid, it reminded me um, a lot of that. Yeah, oh god, dread didn't have and an arch reminded me of a no-name gunslinger coming coming to town almost secondary character almost secondary character he was the uh the narrator or the, the what do they call that the the, the is a trope this whatever in a story that moves the story along what's that called it it's used to move the story along that's what dread was he was moving the story along it is fantastic uh speaking of L L les grouse says speaking of comics ed pescor rest in peace ed pescor the name rings a bell but i can't place it uh can you play some for us graham he's more of a force of nature padre says or the force of good yeah. lonely piggy a plot device a plot a plot device thank you very much lonely piggy yeah dread was the plot device just move the story along right 
Oh, Pescor did Hip Hop Family Tree. Cool. I have uh, some of the singles of that. He passed. How old was he? Ed did the Hip Hop Family Tree comic. He wasn't that old, was he? He wasn't that old. Laugh out loud. The complex where action take place in this movie is not not far from what was the Point City Tower in South Africa. Wild stuff. Wild stuff. Wild stuff. And Mama was amazing. Uh, Elder God to Mama, he was death. She doesn't seem uh, doesn't see him directly until he kills her. Only in camera and smoking shadow haha very cool and the actress for mama phenomenal actress uh she was in uh, uh game of thrones uh, i'm pretty sure it was the same same person and uh, she's been in some other sci-fi that i've seen phenomenal actress oh he was 41 damn at pescore 41 that's young man that's young i wonder if it was climate change or getting too much sun or gardening or shoveling snow or sudden death i don't know rest in peace whatever it was rest in peace Goofy, I was surprised uh, when I found out that Cerisi from uh, Game of Thrones is the villain in this film. Yeah, yeah. Lena Headley, that's her name. Cool. Cerisi Lannister. Cerisi Lannister, we've got both names. Nice. Lonely Piggy and Other God, they're on it. Yeah, she did phenomenal. Very good. Very good. And I just recently watched a TV series, uh, the, the Beacon. She's also in, in a TV series, sci-fi TV series, The Beacon. Uh, I think it's called The Beacon. It was pretty good, right? Let's go. Took his own life, unfortunately. Oh, he took his own life. Damn. Ali, yes, Chicho. Oh, man. Too bad. Too bad. Da, da, da. Too awesome with the basically sci fi verse. In a time of political law, Plutarch Porus on Rumble. In a time of political lawfare and, a, and justified crumbling trust in Western institutions, dread is an alternative scenario. Yeah. Strafe. The Sylvester Stone movie is a lot of fun, but he never should have taken his helmet off. And the first part of the dread movie with Sylvester Stone was better than the second part right which is something that happens with a lot of hollywood movies right i've seen that one a couple of times but i haven't seen it for a long time so i don't remember too much about it. i just know the second the second half wasn't as good yeah dread is a good movie not judge dread the scar that scar yeah she was ruthless in dread the, the, Lena Hadley was ruthless in dread, like so effing good, so good. When she brings the hook, the knife, and the hacker person, when with I, I don't want to give spoilers. So good, so good. Uh, Plutonic Plurus, indeed. Second part was rather co uh, conventional and flattening of character. Yeah. For Judge Dredd with Sylvester Stallone, right? Elder God Anderson is the main character in my opinion. Full arc from rookie, double uh, doubtful judge, and finally experienced judge. You look ready. You look ready. The action sequences were very eighties for me. The action sequences were phenomenal. So effing good. So effing good. It was just a phenomenal movie, really first time chat lifeless yo hope you're doing well hope you're doing well ronnie how are you doing quote i'm the judge jury and the executioner end quote and hi all oh, ronnie says lifeless review x machina x machine was pretty good that's the robot the girl in the thing 
right? But we'll have to watch it to do a review. I can't do a review now of X Machina. Yeah, I liked it. A pretty uh, ruthless, I would say. Ruthless, pretty... Uh, it was psychological, really. Very much a psychological uh, movie. It's a great movie. Yeah, I agree. One of my favorites. Yeah, I agree. I really enjoyed it. But made me angry at the end. Like, the... It had multiple stuff going on with naivety, science, uh, AI, uh, possibilities. It was a good movie. Good movie. Control is that. I was shocked how much I enjoyed X Machina. Yeah. It made me think about it for a while, for like a few days. So that is a sign of a great movie. Great storytelling, I would say. Do you know any other movies I would like since I like X Machina? Any other movies that you would like? Um, any other come and see lifeless it heavier much it's a war movie it's a Russian war, war movie but it has that anxiety associated with it that X Machina did right that's what comes to mind right now if you give me time and if I think about it for a few days, I'll probably come up with other movies, but something on that level that makes you think about it for a few days and has that anxiety associated with it, come and see. Awesome. I will catch it. Thanks. It's brutal movie. Lifeless. It's <laughs> yeah, going like this. I hope you enjoy it. Rush, if you like war movies, it's my favorite war movie of all time and one of my favorite movies ever. Limit 77. What's up, Psycho? Psycho Chicho. First time chat. I want the sequel. Was still, it would have had been amazing. Lifeless just subscribed. Thank you very much for subscribing, Lifeless. I hope you enjoy. Come and see. I hope you enjoy. Come and see. Oh, Ronnie Chicho, you should check out some Korean. Oh, I've seen some Korean movies for sure. The two sisters thing and i love korean movies they're great yeah yeah parasite is fantastic yeah agreed yeah agreed koreans have some dark movies man dark movies look at uh what do you call it uh, the uh, oh my god i've seen them all the, the guy who gets kidnapped and yeah train last train to uh, bosan is amazing uh, old boy thank you goofy that's what i was thinking about old boy what a great movie i've seen those movies so far Tag uh, tegu kai how do you recommend tegu? is that the the war movie uh, there's an amazing korean war movie so good so good they have bagava gita in there i don't know sympathy for mr oh the vengeance stuff is so effing good the trilogy the trilogy miss vengeance or whatever it is i haven't seen those forever uh we're going off on korean movies now part two dark baron against dread dark baron against dread nice uh Oh, Ali, the uh, director of X Machina, did, uh, uh, Annihilation, starring Natalie Portman. I liked Annihilation. I, I, I've read some reviews. People didn't like Annihilation. I didn't know it was the same director. But Annihilation, I really liked. It was a fun movie. It was great sci-fi. Great sci-fi. And the old Judge Red movie was kind of an amazing, was kind of amazing due to all the over-the-top extras. <laughs> Facial acting on the lower halves of everyone's face. <laughs> hilarious, hilarious. It's the best Korean movie about the Korean War. That's the one, the war movie, right? It's so good. I'm pretty sure that's the one. La Fala, Annihilation final scene blew my mind. Super good, super good. Is it a British series? Aldegard, which one? Aldegard, strip. I have seen collecting... Uh, I've been collecting 2000 AD since 1984. Really nice. Yeah, and it's a British Plutonic. Uh, it's a British uh, magazine format, newspaper. Really. Uh, sort of uh, comic book. Like Alan Moore, Judge Dredd, V for Vendetta. Uh, all of these came out of uh, stories and people came out of 2000, 2000 AD. 
felt like a fever dream on a thing. Ali, thank you very much for the super chat on sensor tube. Uh, what are you drinking? Do you have any recommendations for me to make? Thanks. Uh, you know what? This is uh, kombucha. It's uh, lychee and jasmine kombucha. It's really nice. It's fizzy, uh, and it's like you know, it's got organic cane sugar and you know, it's fermented and stuff. We plan on making our own kombucha, but we haven't created the space and got into it yet. We've been really busy. But kombucha, and thank you very much for the super chat, Ali. Salute, salute. <sighs> Newspaper style, yeah. Uh, for 2018, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chang on Rumble. It's kind of out of this topic. What do you think of South Korea and Japan as countries, both politically and economically? Oh, that's a huge question. I've had both Korean and Japanese friends for the longest time. And I've associated a lot with both of them, and they're very different characters, very different people. Uh, one of the biggest differences you'll find between Koreans and Japanese is that Japanese can drink like a fish and maintain, and Koreans can drink like a fish, but they fall down pretty damn fast. <laughs> they get drunk, super drunk, super fast, super drunk, super fast. And Japanese have this tendency of uh, uh, lightness to them, while Koreans have a tendency of darkness to them. Might have to do with 500 years of occupation by the Japanese and the Koreans and stuff like this. So there's so much there. There's so much there. So much there. Hello, first time chat. Kemp, Kemp, Sio. Kemp, Sio. Salutations. Elder God. And one more thing. Mama was the direct opposite to Dread. His controlled Yang to her reckless ying yeah 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 they were on the, the one thing about the the greatest movies the greatest stories ever told if it, if the villain is on the same level as the hero or anti-hero right if they it, the worst ones are where the heroes are the villains are no good and the heroes are like way above them in caliber and vice versa right this one dread and mama they were on the same level right on the same level uh and it was beautiful to withhold to, like, to witness right to watch right or oh, you posted that i missed it all the god bar face salutations how are you doing hi chicho and chat i was trying to try and kombucha earlier i haven't had it much is it uh supposed to help with uh, indigestion or can can it cause it it i don't know if it can cause it it doesn't cause it for me but it's good for the tummy Kombucha is in general good for the tummy because it's got the culture in it. Probably intensifying working on <laughs> robots. Uh, Strife, Mama is how you make an actual strong female character and a generally frightened antagonist. Yeah, scary ass evil person. Like someone who has gone through brutal time that has made them more brutal than what they what they went through as a defense mechanism to protect themselves ruthless one of the most ruthless characters in cinema history like really defense noted smash now ronnie i'm, I'm korean you're korean you're paseo <laughs> kimchi kalbi chapche uh, uh pipim pap uh Bulgogi, <laughs> these are all food names. I've eaten a lot of Korean food. I roomated with a Korean. I used to play cards like three, three, three night, two nights, three day university. We roomated with a Korean university. We get home on Friday uh, and we call over his Korean friends and Japanese friends. We get together. One time we played from Friday night. Usually we pray until Saturday afternoon. One time went from Friday night till Sunday afternoon. That was like a 48-hour card session. It was phenomenal. One time me and him, just me and him, played for like 30 hours. It's crazy. Love, I love. The Waiting, a.k.a. Stranger, a.k.a. Gug, Gugsung. Uh, 
Corinne Her absolutely watched this. Oh, I don't know if I know this. I don't know that one. Oh my God, she gets her face uh, also gets rescarred at the end. Defense noted smash. Bar face. Cool. Thanks for the info. I'll be lurking, listening to the movie chat. I agree about the dynamic between heroes and villains being more compelling when they are. Uh, there are gray areas and the morality tropes. Yeah, yeah. Ronnie, great foods. <laughs> Ronnie's laughing. <laughs> My Korean brothers. Uh, Dread and Mama are ultimate pr uh, uh, products of Mega City One. Yeah, ultimate products of their society. All right. I like the scene with the Asian kid on scary movie for <laughs> strip on the topic of Korean movies uh, joint security area oh I've seen that one I think is another uh, really good movie and probably the best film about the DMZ between North Korea and I think that's the one maybe I'm thinking about I can't remember now man I gotta remember the names I'm bad with names next interstellar okay we're going with the next movie I want to kill the person the person who recommended it hilarious okay gang so judge dread what does everyone say i say in terms of movies 10 out of 10 judge dread 10 out of 10 i'm giving it a 10 out of 10 what card games did you play that crazy a poker we played poker and he would invite korean friends over and they would play the korean poker the little cards and i tried to get them to teach it to me they said no you cannot learn all the koreans would sit around drinking talking cha Ah, sitting down on the ground they grab the car ah, and they laugh and stuff i try to I, I try to tell them look teach it to me i can learn it i'm good i'm good at cars i'm good at games and they wouldn't teach it to me the fuckers <laughs> right i say 10 out of 10 goofy says 8.5 for me 8.5 drop your numbers gang drop your numbers i'm gonna read them i'm gonna read them before i take the poster down I'll take another sip. Aldega, 10 out of time. Uh, I am the law. I am the law. Nice. When UK people say it's 10 out of 10, because Dread is a 10 out of, uh, is, a, is a UK product. It's a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10. Okay, gang. Let's take it down. Oh, it's a movie rating. It's a movie rating. Indeed. Today is no stream. <laughs> it's no stream. <laughs> funny, funny. Two out of Ali says two out of ten. Boo, Ali, boo. <laughs> Laugh out loud says eight out of ten. Eight. Ali brings our average down. Ali brings our average down. You're that hater on IMDb writing a review of the things, right? <laughs> love it, love it. You have the right to rate it as a two, Ali. You have a right to rate it as a two. Funny. Uh, Streff, I'll give Dread a 9, 9 out of 10. Nice, nice. So we got 2, we got 8.5, we got 9, we got 10. I give it a 10, we got an 8. <laughs> He's laughing. His 2 brings the average down to probably 7.5. <laughs> He's the raw tomato. <laughs> He's been paid. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, I'm the hater, you're the hater. 